Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is a bonus video in between the nativity uh, series and it's, um, it's a blanket and uh, in this video we're going to learn how to knit a baby blanket and this is square. Uh, sorry I can't <laughs> spread it out on camera but um, it's a uh, worked in garter stitch diagonally and it has um, a border and for this particular blanket I used Karen cake um, strawberries and cream and I think this color combination is beautiful it's got some creams oranges pinks uh, taupey colors um, and um, I enjoyed knitting this so much it's quite thick so um, it's nice and cozy um, but yeah um, this is what it looks like sorry I can't show you all of it but it's about a meter a bit over a meter um, wide and um, actually it's a square so yeah this is uh, the color block um, blanket and I'm gonna show you how to knit this one um, right away. So in order to do the uh, baby blanket I use two of these um, Karen cakes and these are great because um, they have all the colors inside and you don't have to join in uh, different colors they're already joined so all you got to do is keep on knitting and uh, and then the fabric is gonna be like big chunky stripes this one this color is cookies and cream I think so actually yeah the other one was strawberry strawberry trifle so this orange one that I've already done is strawberry trifle this is cookies and cream and um, I love this one as well I made the triangle scarf from it using the Karen cake uh, pattern but for this one um, we're gonna just use uh, my own pattern uh, or maybe there is a pattern out there I don't know but this is the way I knit my baby blanket in garter stitch so what you want to do is look for your end like this and then you're gonna make a slip knot and put your needle through uh, you can use um, five or six or five point five, uh, and you want to use the cable needles because we're going to have a lot of fabric. So um, to start with, I'm going to cast on three stitches like this. So um, this is a beginner's pattern. Uh, all you need to do is um, know how to knit and uh, know how to do a KFB which is knit front and back in one stitch and um, and it's, it's so easy so um, let's go ahead and get started so with three stitches on my needles I turn my work and I do a KFB in the first stitch knit front knit back and take the stitch off and then I knit the rest of the stitches okay that's the beginning then I turn my work and I do a KFB in the first stitch again and work the rest of the stitches and this is the pattern um, you just do a KFB at the beginning of your uh, row and then knit the rest of the row until the end and this way you'll never forget um, your increase row because every row is your increase row because um, every row starts with a KFB KFB and knit the rest of the stitches and you want to do this until um, you're almost finished with your um, yarn cake okay, let me see I dropped it so you want to increase at the beginning of every row until you almost finish your yarn cake and when you have just a bit left uh, at the end of a row then you want to stop and join in the second one and I'll show you what we do when we're done with one yarn cake okay so uh, when you're, once your um, 
almost done with your first yarn cake you you want to leave you know some yarn you don't if you just have a bit of yarn you don't want to start another row you just want to you know I have this this much left and I'm just gonna leave it here on the side and I'm gonna join in my new color I'm sorry my new um, yarn cake um, and this is let me just take this out and show you what it looks like halfway it's quite hard to show on camera because it's a big big one so this is the beginning and I've done a KFB at the beginning of every uh, row and you keep on knitting keep on knitting until you finish your um, your first cake and then we take your second cake and these cakes are about I believe 10 pounds each uh, so you end up with a 20 pound blanket um, nice and warm it's got wool in it it's very soft you can wash it in the washing machine it's just incredible okay so now what I want to do to start with I want to knit one knit a second one and pass that stitch over and then knit to the end of the row so at the beginning of every row we're gonna decrease one that's what's gonna make our work go that way um, so um, it's making a you can already see that it's making a corner here and you want to keep on doing that until uh, you end up with three stitches and then you cast off and that is your blanket done Okay, so I managed to get to the end of my first row using the second uh, Karen cake. <laughs> um, don't forget to give, um, to tighten these two ends with a knot so your stitch don't, doesn't come loose. What I like about this blanket is, is that you only have to weave in four ends, the beginning these two and the one at the end in a whole project which is amazing okay so I'm going to show you again how to do the decreases we're going to knit one 
knit the second one and bind off the first stitch and then we keep on knitting until the end and we do the same and you can see there's already a corner here forming but yeah this is the uh, baby blanket using the Karen cakes um, I hope you enjoy it and um, let me know if I can help you with anything thanks bye